in this video i am going to explain a cone problem so the problem is something like this draw three views of a cone of base 50 mm diameter and axis 75 mm long having one of its generators in the bp and inclined at 30 degrees to hp the apex being in the hp this is the given problem so when we are going to solve the projections of solids problems we have to extract the axe inclination here axe inclination is not given in the problem it is given indirectly now i am going to explain the position of the cone this is the cone so here in the problem it is given as one of its generators one of its generators is in the vp assume that this is vp generator is in the vp generator is in the vp means axis is inclined to vp when the axis is inclined to vp we have to keep the axis perpendicular to vp when the axis is perpendicular to vp you will get the two shape and size of the base in the front view so you have to start the problem from the front view so after drawing the front view then project the top view that is the simple position that means simple position starts with front view then you have to project the top view after that in the second stage you have to keep the generator in the vp that means indirectly you are representing the axe inclination in the third stage the generator which is in the vp is inclined at 30 degrees to hp and apex being in the hp means you have to tilt like this you can't tilt upwards because if you tilt upwards apex will not be in the hp so that's why you have to tilt like this so this is the procedure to solve the problem how to draw this we have to start with the simple position now take the xy line the two shape of the base is obtained in the front view so start the problem from the front view front view is a circle divide the circle into some eight parts like this circle diameter is given as 50 mark the dimension give the numbering something like this then obtain the top view this is the axis o dash and p dash so while drawing the top view so this particular base i am keeping in the vp initially i am keeping the base in the vp that's why the top view starts from the xy line so that means i am keeping like this this particular base is in the vp so top view starts from this particular base then here you will get 8 comma 2 this is 7 p3 6 comma 4 and this last point is 5 then take the axis length and mark o axis length is 75 then join the extreme generators to represent the top view like this then remaining generators you can represent with light lines these are light lines okay now simple position is completed in the second stage we have to represent the axis inclination and that is given indirectly so indirectly means this particular generator i am taking as my reference generator that is o5 in the vp then o5 is in the vp then automatically axis will be inclined to vp now observe somewhere here i will take 5 point then 5 to o this distance you take with compass and mark that here you will get o after that so 5 1 this distance you take and draw an arc and o 1 this distance you take draw another arc then automatically you will get point 1 then measure this small distance 1 to 8 2 this small distance with compass and mark that here then you will get 8 2 and 6 4 both are at the same distance so here you get 6 4 then here to this midpoint distance you measure with compass mark that here then you will get this 7 p 4 then 8 to 1 to this 8 to distance you measure and mark that from here then automatically you will get 8 comma 2 in this way we have reconstructed this top view here keeping this 5 o in the vp so 5 o generator is in the vp means observe here axis is inclined to vp that's why we kept the axis perpendicular to vp in the simple position now when you are seeing like this when you are seeing like this this particular base is visible this particular base is visible 
and this generator is invisible base is visible means so first obtain the base then you can automatically get the idea about remaining generators now draw the projectors from the top view locus lines from the front view and obtain the points like this this is one dash here you will get two dash this is eight dash then this is three dash this is seven dash here you will get four dash six dash this point is five dash next here from wo if you draw the projector and from here locus line this is wo dash then this particular base is visible after that what you have to do is to represent this in the front view draw the tangents from wo dash to this particular ellipse don't connect wo dash to this 8 dash or 7 dash we have to represent the front view by drawing tangents to the ellipse top side one tangent bottom side one tangent okay draw the tangents like this okay this is the front view now in the front view this wo dash phi dash generator which is in the vp is making an angle of 30 degrees to hp so that's why in the third stage somewhere here you take wo dash because wo dash is in the hp that's why you have to tilt like this then draw a 30 degree line on this 30 degree line mark 5 dash that is this point after that we have to reconstruct this that's why 5 dash after this 5 dash point this small distance you measure mark that here and draw a line perpendicular to this 30 degree line that means you have to align the mini drafter to this 30 degree line one scale is parallel to this 30 means another perpendicular scale you have to use for drawing these perpendicular lines okay on this line somewhere here we have 6 dash and 4 dash so here to here this distance you measure with compass mark that here you will get 6 dash and 4 dash <coughs> similarly this 5 dash to this particular line distance you measure mark that here draw a line here to here this distance you measure mark that here you will get 7 dash and 3 dash in the same way this 5 dash to this particular line distance you measure mark a line here then automatically this similar to just this 6 dash and 4 dash you will get the points 2 dash and 8 dash okay after that 5 dash to this 1 dash distance you measure mark that here you will get 1 dash so now in the same way draw a smooth freehand curve to represent this base in the elliptical form then from this o dash point draw the tangents so how to draw the tangent means keep the one end of the scale here and other end you just move until it touches the ellipse then join it like this now we have to obtain the top view for top view draw the locus lines from this top view and projectors from this front view when you are seeing like this this particular base is visible okay so base is visible means first obtain the base after that you can draw the generators to represent the cone so this is the generator of one this is the locus of one here you will get one and here you will get two this is three this is four here five then this is six this point is seven here you will get eight okay draw a smooth freehand curve then draw the tangents to this so o point will lie somewhere here only this is locus of o this is projector of o means that is here itself that means o point and o dash point both are at same place okay this is o also then take a profile plane somewhere here this is the profile plane to get the side view you have to draw the projectors like you have to draw the locus like this then you have to turn this to 90 degrees then you draw the projector and from the front view draw the locus line observe here this is x1 y1 profile plane from 1 i am drawing locus then tilt this to 90 degrees how to do that take this point as center o dash point or o point both are same take that as center up to here as radius draw an arc then project it to the front view then from the front view draw the locus from one dash this is the locus this is one double dash similarly this is two then turn it project it from two dash draw the locus this is two double dash repeat the same procedure for remaining points 
थ्री डबल डैश हियर फोर डबल डैश देन फाइव डबल डैश यू विल गेट हियर इट्स देन दिस इज सिक्स डबल डैश सेवन डबल डैश एट डबल डैश देन वो डबल डैश लाइज हियर ओनली because wo and wo dash are here automatically wo dash wo double dash point also will get at the same place now you join all these points one double dash two double dash etc up to eight double dash with a smooth free hand curve now draw the tangents to this ellipse from wo double dash like this then side view is obtained in the side view also base is visible because for side view you are seeing like this this is this view direction that means this base is visible that's what we have obtained here in this way you can draw the three views of the cone